Hi, it's Clay from Sean's Farm Equipment. Today I want to make a quick video and show you how to set up a Lemkin Heliodor 9 and get it ready for the field. So step number one, we're going to hook in our hydraulic remotes to the tractor. So pretty self-explanatory. The one thing I just want to highlight here is this reference sticker that Lemkin's put on the side of these machines. Really handy little feature that just tells you what remote does what on the machine so you can get it hooked into the right spot the first time. So all the hydraulic lines are color coded and have little tags on them that tell you what they do. Reference that sticker and you're good to go. One little tip, I would recommend hooking in your rear axle hydraulic cylinder. That's this guy here. On the chart, we can see it's P2 and T2. Hook them up to your favorite lever or joystick in the cab. That's the one you're gonna be using the most when you raise and lower the machine in the field. On to step two is setting the depth of the machine, which is super easy. It's all done from the cab hydraulically. The depth is set with the rolling baskets at the rear and we're gonna reference the gauge on the far side of the machine with the one through nine units as our depth reference. So one is the shallowest, nine is the deepest. On a Heliodor, we're running at the deepest setting down to four inches. Today, I'm just gonna be running about one inches prepping this ground for soybean planting, about the three mark on that dial. Now that we've set our depth, we're on to step number three, and that's making sure we're running level. What I mean by level is we want to make sure our front and rear blades are running at the same depth. If we're running too deep at the front relative to the rear, the machine's going to pull to the left. If we're running too deep at the rear relative to the front, the machine's going to pull to the right. Why is that? You can see our front blades, the concave is opposite of the concave of the rear. That's two opposing forces that are fighting with each other. How do we know they're equalized and running perfectly level? It's if the machine is towing straight behind us. How do we adjust our level? Really simply, hydraulically from the cab with one set of remotes running this cylinder here. This is our hitch cylinder that adjusts the pitch of the hitch relative to the rest of the machine. So if we're extending the cylinder, it means we're pivoting the front blades up relative to the rear. If we're contracting the cylinder, it means we're doing the opposite and lifting the rear relative to the front. So we're looking for that equal point where the front blades are running at the same depth as the rear. So it's really simple, hop in the cab, do a bit of a pass, see if the machine's trailing straight behind you. It's always a good idea to really nail it down and be 100% straight to get someone to stand behind you and watch visually as you're going down the field. But it's not an exact science. There's no dial on here that says level, it's visual. So make that pass and make your judgment call on if you're running perfectly straight. One of the most common setup questions we get from customers is, hey, I'm leaving a bit of a trench on the one side. What's going on? How do I fix that? And typically the answer is they're not running 100% straight, so they don't have the machine perfectly leveled. And you can see what I mean here. If this blade isn't followed perfectly by the rear, if we're running on an angle and the rear isn't covering up the trench that this blade's making, it's just gonna remain throughout our pass and we're not gonna cover that up and level it up nicely. So even if you think you're running perfectly straight, it's always a really good idea to get someone to just watch behind you and ensure that you are in fact running 100% straight because if you're not, if you're off to this side, this is gonna leave a ridge here. So that's probably the most common issue we have with people that are just getting used to the Heliodor. It's, hey, here's this ridge, what do I do? And 90% of the time it's just, are you running perfectly straight? Shift it over an inch or two and you're gonna see that ridge disappear. We also have these adjustable flaps on the side. These discs aren't meant to run in the soil. And they should skim just along the top. And we've got an adjustment here. Pull the pin out, swing it. There's five settings. And what that's doing is just shaping how the dirt is thrown and how tight it's allowed to flow through the machine. So if you really wanna do some fine tuning in a perfectly level finish, this is what you're gonna do to adjust the flow of the soil through your joints between your passes. And that's the basics of setting up your Heliodor for the field. Pretty simple, three easy steps. Plug in the remotes the right way, set the depth, and then make sure you're running level and you're good to go. Next, hop in the cab, do a couple practice passes, see how everything's running. 
do some adjusting and fine tuning if needed. Otherwise, you're ready for the field. Girl, you pull me in close, but you only let me go so far. I can see that diamond shining bright, but it's buried in the coal mine dark.